Good morning, you guys. Well, yeah, good morning, Miss Tintin. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I wanted to get this video out last night and I couldn't because, you know, life. I cleaned up, had to put Bashar to sleep, and I fell asleep. So that just didn't work out how I expected, to, expected it to, but that just means right now it's a better time. So that's cool. Um, what did I want to talk about? So, first of all, today is Thursday. We had a new moon yesterday on Wednesday, a very mercurial day, um, very magical day. Um, you know, Mercury is ruled by Gemini and Virgo. Well, Mercury rules Gemini and Virgo. In the tarot deck, it also rules the lover's card. So, this is about making decisions and um, coming into a that twin flame relationship this is also unifying the aspects of yourself with this card um that whole yin and yang within in and allowing that to come together so you can manifest you know it also i believe virgo i believe virgo rules the magician i'm not sure uh i could be wrong I can't remember. I can't remember what Virgo rules in the tarot deck right now, actually. So we'll come back to that later. But the lover's card is a good place to really take a look at. Um, this also has to do a lot, you know, with our thoughts, um, networking with people. It has to do with our relatives, you know. So yesterday, the moon could have sparked a lot of um, either thinking of the relatives, dealing with relative issues, siblings, things like that. This also has to do with the service we give out to the world, our routine, our day-to-day -day life, you know, uh, highlighting or illuminating what's been hidden, you know, so these things can come to life and really show us what's going on. So I do want to say really quickly, this video will be longer than 10 minutes. I'm going to put the first 10 minutes on IGTV, but the rest you can find on my YouTube. It'll be one whole video. So let's see. We're going to talk about the astrology for this moon cycle and over this new moon phase, which will be over totally in, on Saturday, I believe. Let's see. Yes, because we're still under the new moon energy come tomorrow. So you still have time to plant your intentions. That's what this is. This is the wintertime season. This is going within, internal, like really hermit phase, um, really talking to spirit, being with spirit, you know, letting those downloads come through. This is letting those things that are buried within really come up so we can um, acknowledge them and deal with them and... Uh, move them out so we can plant new soil you know and in this soil we can plant new seeds and allow these to flourish in our lives so with this moon transit the energies that we're dealing with i'm going to go ahead and talk about that this is over the whole new moon uh energy and this is what we'll, what will be either seeding our intentions for or making room for these intentions to come to us so that we can or let me say so that we can fully come into the place of realizing what intentions it is that we need to uh plant the next new moon right because when the full moon comes up this is also is a harvest of those who have planted intentions but this is also a realization of what needed to be changed of what um what needs to be shifted what needs to come to fruition what needs to be let go of because that's what we do with the full moon but we're not gonna get into that because we're at a new moon energy and with it being in leo we are really starting over if you choose to do so i highly recommend you do what you need to you know and take whatever steps it is that need to be taken so that life can be really what it is that you want to make it you know so 
this moon we had a sun moon and venus conjunction so this is really unifying who it is that we are what it is that we desire with our expression you know we're really unafraid to show up in our relationships um knowing that we are worthy or understanding our worth you know valuing ourselves or choosing to value ourselves and stepping in to take initiative in that and accepting nothing less from the people around us in our lives what we manifest what we bring to life you know um the, all the things it is that we deserve you, this this bring a lot of excitement a lot of passion it can bring some drama as well wherever that leo energy is happening for you you know because we have a lot of planets in leo right now we have a full stellium mercury finna go into um into um leo as well so this is going to bring all of this together um with our thoughts and everything and i'll be very happy when mercury moves into leo because right now mercury's in my 12th house and it feels like that my words have not been coming through clearly since particularly been in retrograde like today i feel like that i'm able to fully express myself to you guys um but previously it feels like it felt like that i've been having to uh repeat myself a lot and say the same things over and over because it's been so difficult for me to really ground the words and put put the feeling into words put the knowing into words and push it out there but i'm better today i'm happy about this <laughs> so um, this is also joy in, with our children and what it is that we create in our romances. Um, and if it's not there already, this is making space for this to come up in our life, you know, because that's also see intention. Like, okay, this is what I need. So what do I need to begin doing to begin attracting this to myself? You know, so this is this also speaks of that creative power. What it, how it is that we are creating, you know, and the intuitive downloads that are coming through and choosing to listen to that. So we also have a trine with all of these energies to Chiron. So this is just warmth and growth within ourselves and loving ourselves and really uh, embracing our expression. I talked about that on what was that? Monday, I believe. And, you know, being in support of your life and supporting others in the same way, you know, seeing all of this from a higher perspective and knowing what has happened in our lives has served us for the better because it's been a catalyst to allow to allow us to know who it is that we, what we are, who we are, what it is that we will accept, you know, and being sure of what it is that we want and what it is that we deserve. So this is just that healthy relationship with the self, providing ourselves, choosing to provide ourselves with our wants and needs and growth when, within our being, you know, and just really acknowledging that and feeling good about ourselves how we express ourselves how we love ourselves how we value ourselves just everything i've already said like um you know feeling better about our finances right feeling better about our relationships our partnerships feeling better about the ways in which it is that we are choosing to bring income into ourselves how it is that we make our money you know and um even the foods that we eat, we might have a better relationship with that as well. So the moon is also conjuncting, the moon is also conjunct Mars, right? So this is very passionate action toward your home life, toward your dreams, toward mothering and relationships with the mother. This is rapid manifestation. This is that, that eight of, um, eight of wands energy you know getting these messages the whole intuitive downloads and acting on that things moving quickly you know and it's bringing a benevolence in all things with uh, the moon trying to jupiter um you know we have a greater capacity to simply be and being can be a very difficult thing for us sometimes because um sometimes it doesn't feel safe to show up as it is that we are but it is like you receive the best out of life when the universe sees you showing up in your true self it acknowledges that and it provides you with what it is that you need to move forward you do not have to put on a front 
or anything. I know for a long time, I would make these videos and show up at somebody like, ah, and it's like, I am that person, but at the same time, I am not. <laughs> and those who know me know. So, um, this is also believing that you can and making things happen, you know, trusting within yourself and ease of letting go of everything seemingly standing in your way because nothing's really ever in our way. Obstacles, they are not, what are obstacles? You know, are they real? <laughs> how, how can we move beyond this? How, what place can we put ourselves in, right, to fully invest in our future that's what that is and the obstacle comes when we are not willing to make that change so um it could this could also bring anger but it's easily resolved it's easily understood you know and it allows us to align with a higher beliefs and using that toward our goals and what it is that we're manifesting so the moon is also at a king hunks between neptune saturn and pluto right and i'm looking over here to the left because i, I took some notes to well this is just the downloads that come through i write them out as i look at the planets basically fill into them so this is seeing where it is that you need to integrate spirit fully into your desires which will probably be your entire way of life right because spirit cannot be separated from the self like everything that we do is a spiritual experience everything that we do it emanates from within whether or not it is a uh, emanation of what belongs to us or something that we've been taught right and everything that we've been taught ha isn't wrong um some we come here to learn things and we have to be taught these things that's why we choose the parents that we choose that's why we choose the teachers that we choose right so with that um this is all coming into us and becoming a part of our spirit, part of our soul expression. And we decide whether or not it is that we want to allow this to, um, there's an ant on me. I'm going to light this uh, Paolo real quick just to get these bugs from uh, trying to take over my life and my broadcast. Yeah, there you go over there all right so um this is oh and also even if you're not choosing to acknowledge it that's that whole uh that not knowing that being taught things that uh from other people sometimes like i said once before there are things that we learn that don't belong to us you know and that's okay they don't have to belong to us um but we did come here to learn them for some rhyme or reason. It just depends on what it is that we decide to take on for our life. What is it that you want for your life? You know, because there are a lot of things that my parents taught me that some things I don't use, but there are a lot of it. There's a lot of it that I do. I do utilize because it's very useful to my life. It helped me become the human I am today, you know, so um these king hunks is also also represent a need to remember the security you've attained while letting go so this is a need to be very secure in who it is that you are today and um bringing that together with the new things it is that you have learned the new things it is that you have become and brought into your life you know and um this can also represent coming into leadership in your life we're I know that leadership, that word can sound like, oh, I'm leading somebody, but you're always leading yourself. So you are a leader. Like, don't tell, don't let nobody tell you you're not because you have to lead your life. It doesn't go unless you do. I mean, there are some people who uh, need the reassurance and that's okay too. But at the end of the day, it's up to them to make the choice whether or not they are going to follow through. And that's where the leadership comes comes in. All right, so this also represents a need to invest in your deepest feelings 
your it needs to invest your deepest feelings into your life right and allowing what has been hidden to serve you and fully releasing yourself from whatever prison you have built because the moon especially the dark moon it illuminates what has been hidden what have you been keeping from yourself sometimes we just let things go and don't really take a moment to <laughs> acknowledge that like it's very important that we pay attention and that we're being aware in our life you know and we i'm gonna read this because i wrote this last night we are the creators of our life and whether good or bad, it is up to us to get what we feel is right to get right. So from personal experience, you can dream anything up and you can bring this into reality. Any version of yourself, any life that you desire, it's all in a matter of believing it and moving into it. You know, the doing, it is the doing. Everything in my life right now, has is a manifestation of what I've created there is nothing in my life right now that I have not created there was nothing in my life in the past that I have not created the only difference today is that it has been intentional and it has been effort behind the creation I haven't just let things happen you know so I guess that's what this is all about for me, helping others realize that within themselves so that they can do the same thing because you are fully capable, we are fully powerful, you know, and it all lies within us, you know, so it, it's a matter of believing that you, we, we know what it is that we want, what we desire out of life, you know, and it, they... It can come off to some that we don't, um, we shouldn't be caught up in our desires, but our desires is life. You know, we, it's important that we feel good in order to really function and be successful, whatever that feels like, whatever that looks like, whatever that is for us, you know, because success does not look the same for everybody. It doesn't feel the same for everybody. Um, and that's why it's important for us to listen to ourselves and allow ourselves to listen to spirit because although yes, this life is ours, we're here having a spiritual experience and, uh, basically governed by whatever rules we have been given in entering into this realm. If that makes any sense, I hope it does. So it's just very important. It's so important that we listen to ourselves, talk to people. Right now is a really good time to get um, an astrology reading, a psychic reading, uh, sit with a medium to get a tarot card reading, because all those things can really help illuminate what it is that we choose. We are choosing not to acknowledge within ourselves, what it is that we are choosing not to acknowledge in our life. Like it's very easy to. <laughs> just overlook things you know or not even be uh, not even seeing it because we're so distracted living living this western or wherever you are life you know because i know western culture has extended itself into many regions so when you're not just sitting no distractions no tv no work things can get blocked off things can get suppressed and that makes it w I don't want to say worse, but it makes it grow bigger, you know, so then it comes out in a distorted way, like almost a perverted version of, of being, you know, and all these, and then it seems like life is unlucky and all these things are just bad things are happening to you. And that's not it. It's just, we don't be paying attention. Right. And that don't be being grateful. And that's very important, like the attention, the awareness, the observance, observing how it is um, that the ways in which that we are behaving are showing up, reflecting in our lives. Because I said once before, everything that we have in our life is based off of our internal makeup i said it in a quick way though it was uh you have what you have because of where you are so this is in a matter of frequency you know 
we have we each carry a frequency we each uh, decide whether or not um we're gonna raise it or let it stay or let it get lower and in that we attract wherever our frequency is whatever frequency it is that we're on that's what's going to come to us in our life so you can be upset about like oh i'm gonna use the example of oh, these niggas ain't shit right or these fuck boys well if you keep attracting niggas who ain't shit if you keep attracting fuck boys it's probably because you see men as fuck boys it's probably because you have some fuck boy tendency um in your life living within you you may have been raised in a way that you've never seen real love you've never seen people really interact with one another and that's okay like you don't have to uh you learn that's why we're here we're here to learn this is a learning experience um and really taking things in in all of that and and growing so i'm gonna go ahead and pull the cards for this new moon energy kids back at school they are out here oh, uh, what is that earlier y'all this bee tried to come over here and it followed me went all over my stuff trying to see what i had going on like i'm unfamiliar this i'm sitting in a new spot today and it was just like who are you who are you and what you think is going down over here right but it's fine. I get it. Territory. Okay. Yay. Okay. This is, we have some really good energy. I hope that things have been going really well for you. And if not, things may have been in some sort of unheaval, upheaval, and you have to deal with that. Don't run away from it. It's okay. If you need some help, ask for ask somebody. Like talk to someone. So for where it is that we are right now, we got the let's do this side. We got the crumbling, right? So things are coming down. Old ways of being. Like we're no longer allowing ourselves to um, deal with the bull anymore. Like it's, it's greener pastures more flowers mountaintops that's what we're going after right and we got the tent of air and i'm using the orisha deck today because we have so much fire energy and this is a very masculine deck so um yes this is a nine of air right so this is the those worries and stuff that keep us up at night that anxiety um the those thoughts that are are so consuming but these thoughts are built by us you know this really speaks of a lot of that value that self-worth and we are letting these things go we are allowing ourselves to come to a higher standard of thinking of how it is that we feel about ourselves how we feel about where it is that we're going in life how it, we feel about what's going down in life you know because we got chiron and this is all of the trying energy to chiron and just coming into a place of feeling really good about ourselves and having a healthy relationship with ourselves because that is so important loving ourselves loving who it is that we show up as, loving who it is that we relate as, loving who it is that we feel, the things that we desire, the things, how it is that we think, you know, and really being in that good space. So we're coming into birthing, we're birthing a new age in our lives, right? And 
we have the two of air so we're making decisions that really bring us to a new place in life we're making decisions that allow us to prosper to find balance to really communicate fluidly that allow us to really network that allow us to really show up that allow us to give ourselves in a way i'm sorry y'all it, it's uh being on me it's still on me <laughs> So allow us to really relate to one another, allow us to have the contracts in our life that serve us. You know, you see this heart here. So this is love, genuine love. And this is being illuminated by this Leo sun. You know, it is allowing us to really show up and be seen. And in that, go find a new way of being, a new way of going, a new way of doing. Because that is so important right now. Like I said before, if life has seemed like it has turned upside down, you need to go with it. You need to start writing it down, creating a plan. You need to get structured. All right. You need to. Um, get aligned with who it is that you feel you're supposed to show up as because you already know you've either just been denying it or just haven't been aware of it and if you haven't been aware of it it's time to be aware of it you know it that that is the whole going talk to someone you know listening dealing with an astrologer a medium a psychic a tarot reader maybe even a therapist if that's what you need do that you know because the advice is to share your voice so talking to someone may be what it is that you need you may need we have Yem yemaya so she's the nurturer she's the empress card in this deck right so she is um, bringing the money, bringing the love, bringing the joy, taking care of the kids, taking care of the home, being a great wife, um, holding space, you know, giving that emotional support, being that emotional um, example of how you do things. Like, yes, this is me with, you know, that uh, that fan and everything like that. So. She has pearls on and looking at herself in the mirror on an oyster. <laughs> the world is your oyster. Talk to whoever it is you need to talk to so that you can expand, so that you can come into, so you can let go whatever it is you need to let go of, so you can come into the beliefs it is that serve you, that give you a, this wonderful life. Um, you don't have to be hidden. You can express yourself to people in your relationships. You know, you can allow those to expand. You can express yourself at work if that's what you need to. Um, sit down and kindly talk to your boss if that's what you need to do. If you need to make some changes uh, with where it is you work. If you need more money, we be need more money. All right, life, living, the cost of living has gone up and you need to pay for that. And that is okay speak up about that all right get what it is that you need to get start this new life you know like really take the time so that you can speak up share start that podcast all right start that website start that blog all of that um record yourself put yourself out there on spotify i don't know what you do whatever you do do it. Expand into it. Nurture yourself. Love yourself. Support those who are doing other things. Supporting others means so much to people. Let me tell you. Recently, my best friend and a really good friend both told me how, you know, they were just saying how they were happy that I was doing this, that, you know, it's very inspiring, everything like that. Um, and other things that don't matter don't matter to you guys, matter to me, that really gave me that oomph that I needed, you know, the support of others in your life, or you supporting others that are in your life, really um, encourage them to keep going, so do that, be around people who support you, don't be around nobody who um, do not, who does not uh, support you, right because that energy leaks that's leaky energy and it's gonna stop you 
or deter you from making things happen for real, right? So the message that we have from the new moon, you guys, it, it's Lumeria creating heaven on earth. We are making it happen. We are building a new life, literally building to a fire. We are expanding. We are growing. We are learning the new things that we need to learn that will help us move forward in our in our walk you know in our existence in this being don't get caught up in what the next person is doing do what it is that you need to do do what it is that you feel is right that you need that you want to do i'm looking at this next card So we got the Wayne and Gibbous moon and in this in this particular deck it says to share, right? So that means what you're building, share these things. And that's what I was just talking about, about the sharing your voice. We have a lot of that. Be sure to share your voice. Show up. It is Leo season. Leo is here to be seen. Do you understand? Like I'm like seriously the wax the is this the waxing moon no this is the waning gibbous right so share make a plan this all this moon also talks about making plan and adjusting things because we're coming into the place of the moon starting to get bigger so we're about to start coming out and showing ourselves and connecting with people and um and interacting with people right and networking with people we are under the this is helping us birth a new age you need to start making the moves that are going that need to be made in order for what you're desiring whatever you're planning whatever you got going on to come to life because nothing happens without the going without the doing you cannot move without it you cannot change your reality without it everything will stay the same if you stay the same please know that like six years ago i changed my life all right i lost a lot of friends um people thought i was crazy and i dealt with that probably not in the best way but i dealt with it and today i'm here and i know now that Everything that happened in my life was for a reason. Even when I didn't trust it, even when I was unsure, you know, I kept going. And that is the key to keep going, um, even in the unsurety. And the animal card that we got is the cougar. You can do it. You can go forward. You can take the strides. You can overcome. You can overpower. You can pounce on it. All right. Dinner is waiting for you, right? And it's, it's just waiting. You don't even have to go searching. It's already right there in front of you. Um, you have all the things it is that you need. These ants are huge. You have whatever. Do that. So, yes, I hope that was helpful. I hope that is helpful over whatever comes up for you over the next, until Saturday. Because I'll see y'all again on Saturday. Um... Yeah, I hope that you receive something from this. And let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let's interact with one another. You know, let me get to know you. Let me see who's watching so that we can get to know each other. And if you need a reading, um, please go to my website under offerings and sign up. If you have some questions, you can reach out to me on the contact sheet that is listed on there. Please do not DM me. <laughs> I keep DMs for my friends who I be talking to. So if it's something about a reading, I'll probably, it'll probably get put on the back burner. Nothing against you. I just need to keep things contained. So I will see you guys on Saturday. And I love you all so much. And I hope that Leo season is so good to you and that this new moon gives you what you need and that over these next 14 days that you really take the time to grow and know and be. All right. So I'll see you guys on Saturday. Bye.